Hello everyone, welcome to you learn education online channel. In the previous video we have seen what are the blocks involved in order to generate an AM signal and how to transmit that AM signal through a wireless antenna. Furthermore, we have seen what are the types of AM transmitters and what is the difference between those two. Now in today's video we are going to see the use of feedback concept in AM transmitters. Now, why we have to use a feedback concept in AM transmitters? As we know that the AM transmitters mainly use the class C power amplifiers and also we have discussed the disadvantage of class C. And also in AM transmitters like a radio broadcasting application, we use a medium power transmitters. In these transmitters, the low level transmitter along with the class C amplifier is used. As we know that the efficiency of class C power amplifier is better but it gives an uncapable distortion of modulating signal. So in order to reduce that distorted signal we have to use a linear power amplifier such as class B amplifier in order to overcome the problem but the main disadvantage of class B is its efficiency is less compared to the efficiency of class C amplifier. So for that purpose, what we have to do, we have to use the class C power amplifier. So with the using of class C power amplifier, we have to make sure that the signal could not be distorted. So for that purpose, we are using or we are introducing a negative feedback to the circuit which is used in order to reduce the distortion in the class C power amplifier and also the class C amplifier that is used in the modulator system. Now let us see how the feedback is used in the class C power amplifier modulator AM transmitter. Okay, so here if you observe the negative feedback is obtained through a linear demodulator which detects a sample of RF signal that is extracted from the transmitting antenna. Okay, so here the modulated signal is given to the transmitting antenna and the sample of modulated signal is given to the demodulator as a feedback signal. So, so here the demodulator should be designed in such a way that it has to act as a linear and produces a signal which is proportional to the modulating signal envelope. So in this way by introducing a negative feedback it simply minimizes the distortion of the modulation envelope and also the output modulation characteristics of class C power amplifier modulator block is also linearized by the negative feedback. And also if you observe this block diagram here the output stage of modulator is simply given to the matching network before it is transmitted to transmitting antenna. Now why we have to use a matching network? In order to transfer the maximum power from the output of a modulator circuit to the transmitting antenna, we have to use a matching network such as a tank circuits and so on. So here this matching network is placed between the two that should be perfect at all transmitting frequencies as the matching is required at different level of frequencies, inductor and capacitor offering different impedance at different frequencies are used in matching networks. So this is how with the introduction of negative feedback, the class C power amplifier characteristics will be changed. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting.